Tim Morstow would have us believe that the amount of radiation in the Pacific Ocean right now is equal to 76 million bananas. This is scaring, you know, people off from eating bananas. They're, you know, they're radioactive, they're dangerous, won't have them in their house, and it's out of hand, right? you got to stop bashing the banana. Uh, the guy lied, and I hope to uh, put some fears to rest with this video and let people get back to eating the food they love. Eat bananas. They're natural. They taste good and they're nuclear free. One medium banana contains 129 grams of protein, 105 calories, and 3.1 grams of dietary fiber. Love the banana. Bananas also contain potassium, phosphorus, magnesium, calcium, sodium, iron, selenium, manganese, copper, zinc, and fluoride. Pretty healthy minerals, good for the body. I don't see any uh, uranium on there in spite the color, so they seem nuclear free. I think bananas are safe. Bananas have a long list of amino acids. I'm not going to read the whole thing here. Um, just tie, they're easy to digest, great for your health, eat them every day. You'll never get cancer from eating a banana. Bananas have vitamin A, vitamin B1, vitamin B2. 2, niacin, folate, pantalenic acid, vitamin B6, vitamin C, vitamin E, vitamin K. Alright, none of these came flying out of the Fukushima Building 3 reactor when it uh, exploded. So bear that in mind next time you're in the grocery store and you're looking at a stack of bananas. So here we are with starch, sugars sugars, sucrose, glucose, fructose, lactose, maltose, and galatose. Well, those are all uh, sugars that the body uses for energy naturally. This is a you know, great little package of instant energy food. See, we have omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids. And uh, there's all good news in here. It's uh, eat a banana. I don't see why we're having eggs for breakfast. I think the banana ought to become the new breakfast egg. Alrighty. So far we don't see any indication that nuclear radiation is a natural ingredient found in bananas, but let's investigate it further. Bananas are more than just a snack. Eat them up before they turn black. Bake them in a muffin or cake. They taste good whatever you make. Bananas are healthy, tis no lie, you can bake them in a pie. Bananas are a wonderful treat, they truly are safe to eat. Nuclear waste is not the same, lying about it is worse than shame. Nuclear weapons are designed to kill, bananas won't even harm a shrill. Seventy-six million bananas do not compare, nuclear radiation plume everywhere. The truth we need to go or stay, our right to choose they took away. A blatant lie, Tim Worstall, is known to have a lot of gall. So far we don't see any indication that nuclear radiation is a natural ingredient found in bananas, but let's investigate it further. So bananas are safe, and if we took 76 million bananas and threw them all into a clean ocean, the sea life there would not die. Bananas are okay, they're not the same thing. There can be only one explanation for Tim Warstall's shocking comments. I know, some people just want to call, you know, Tim Warstall a liar, and I'm not going to argue with that. After all, there's millions of people's lives at risk here. If he is lying, he's out to kill us all. But I'm going to say he's ignorant, just because I feel more comfortable in that. Either way, we got to get the truth out there. It needs to be exposed. He needs uh, to be taught a lesson. And everybody else, you need to know you can eat bananas. They're as safe as ever. They're good for you. Different components of the same element are called isotopes. In my example here, if the element was silver, a neutron, proton, and atom are the isotopes of silver. 
Pretty simple so far. Another example, carbon atoms exist naturally with six, seven, or eight neutrons and six protons. Hmm, let's see what that looks like. In my diagram here, I've used a red dot for proton and a yellow one for neutron. So you can easily see. Uh, carbon-12 atom is six protons, six neutrons. Carbon-13 atom, six protons, seven neutrons. Carbon-14 atom is six protons and eight neutrons. So, carbon-12 and carbon-13 are stable atoms. Carbon-14, however, is unstable or radioactive, decaying with a half-life in about 5,700 years. In Laban terms, that's about 57,000 years. That is produced in the Earth's atmosphere by cosmic ray bombardment of nitrogen-14. So, it's a natural form of radiation. It has to do with nitrogen-14. Living organisms such as trees, animals, and plants leave organic debris on the surface of the ground. We get leaves from trees and poop from animals and plants pretty much cover any other organic material including the infamous banana. The debris decays and is absorbed into the ground where it all mixes together and a type of chemical reaction uh, results. So carbon and nitrogen form in the ground and are released in the form of gases and nutrients. Plants absorb some of these uh, molecules through their roots and some escape into the air. Nitrogen also gets into the air by rays from the sun contacting water molecules and causing them uh, it's a chain reaction called evaporation which in turn puts oxygen into our air. Plants absorb, absorb carbon dioxide which is uh, like a poison to us and they give off more oxygen so there's the ways that nitrogen get into our air in molecules. When sun rays contact air molecules, it causes rapid molecular movement. When a carbon atom collides with a nitrogen atom, they explode and are transformed into a new atom called nitrogen-14. When ultraviolet rays contact nitrogen-14 atoms, it creates a carbon atom and carbon-14, not bananas, is a natural radioactive isotope. So these uh, carbon and nitrogen are atoms I've been talking about are essential to all life forms. We have to have them. These are a good thing. So natural background radiation is coming from carbon-14 and not bananas. Naturally occurring carbon-14 has always existed and is not a threat to human health, thus it is considered to be a harmless radioactive isotope, at least it used to be. We have artificial uh, levels of carbon-14 as a result of nuclear energy and weapons, um, as well as weapons testing. So the carbon-14, which is always considered the background radiation, is actually artificially increased so, it's uh, hard to be accurate about these things now. We can be sure, however, if you inhale carbon-14 atoms, uh, your likelihood of cancer is greatly increased. So, Mr. Worstall, bananas are not radioactive. Throwing them into the ocean would do no harm at all. Bad comparison. You can eat a banana in your bath or eat a banana when you walk on a path. You can eat a banana when you sail a boat. Even eat a banana wearing a coat. You can eat a banana in a tree or eat a banana with your tea. You can eat a banana in the air, eat a banana anywhere. Fat. Bananas are safe to eat, and background radiation is safe, at least the old-fashioned kind. 
So why all the chatter about the Fukushima plume? I'll tell you. March the 11th, 2011. A magnitude 9.0 earthquake off the eastern coast of Japan triggered a 135-foot tsunami that traveled as far as six miles inland. The earthquake shifted the main island of Japan eight feet towards the east and altered the earth axis four to ten inches. It also caused some problems with the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plants. The tsunami disabled water pumps and generators near the ocean and caused an electrical outage which in turn caused the reactor cooling system to fail and reactors 1, 2, and 3 went into meltdown. A hydrogen blast ripped apart Building 1 and moments later Building 3 and its contents were lost in an atomic detonation. Large pieces of debris could be seen falling from the massive cloud of smoke above Building 3 but with this type of disaster it's the little things that count. Hundreds of thousands of small pieces of broken fuel rods scattered for miles. These highly radioactive pieces of metal landed on the ground and in the Pacific Ocean and will remain highly radioactive for decades. The nuclear explosion released an enormous plume filled with hundreds of different types of highly radioactive isotopes into the atmosphere. Some of these isotopes kill any living thing in an instant. Others take minutes, some take hours, others take days, some take months, others take a couple years and the rest take a decade or two to cause death depending on how much accumulates inside the body. Since the accident, a phenomenal amount of highly radioactive water has been flowing into the Pacific Ocean every day with no signs that TEPCO will ever get the problem under control. Three coriums have left their containments, entered the ground and are somewhere under the Diachi plant in an underground river that flows directly into the ocean through springs in the ocean bed. The groundwater in the area is contaminated, the land around the plant is softening and the buildings are starting to sink. The inside of building 2 was destroyed, however it remains mainly intact on the outside. Building 4 was already in cold shutdown for regular maintenance before the earthquake and initially we were told building 5 and 6 were not seriously damaged. Media coverage of this nuclear disaster has been sparse if not criminal and we can thank TEPCO, the owners of the Diachi nuclear plant, and our Canadian, American, and Japanese governments for that. Leaks from poorly constructed nuclear waste storage tanks, along with a highly probability of more explosions and meltdowns to buildings 4, 5, and 6, are additional causes for serious concern. I didn't find us a very good map of the uh, wind currents, but nonetheless you can see that the air plume is uh, heads pretty much directly straight our way. The ocean currents are not in our favor either. Um, this map you can see that the debris comes this way and it's going to be around for a long time. And Tim Worstall would like us to believe that 76 million bananas are the same thing as this nuclear radiation in the ocean and what's in the air. Be wise, be safe, and eat bananas. March 2011 is the year. Bananas are nothing to fear. Radiation plume is here. Bananas are not nuclear. Be careful fishing on that pier. Bananas you can certainly spear. Now's the time to pack your gear. Bananas will make you cheer. Oh, look, another mutant ear. Bananas did not fall in beer. Radiation killed that deer. Bananas caused not a tear. Better not eat that steer. Bananas are always near. Tepco got us in the rear. Bananas need not disappear. Someone is the overseer. Bananas are not. Is that clear?